Okay, so getting back into our coverage over the Dawn of X era of X-Men comics, we actually pick up with X-Force number 9 and X-Force number 10. Now, with that being said right there, in the opening pages of X-Force number 9, we actually pick up with Wolverine hanging out with his son Dakin or Dakin. Someone told me I mispronounced his name in the earlier videos we did of Dakin when he was Dark Wolverine and I was told it was Dakin. I could be wrong or he could be wrong but either way though we do see Wolverine hanging out with his son. Now they're playing a new version of Spin the Bottle. Yes a new version and the new version goes like this if the bottle lands on you you must pop your claws in your head which basically does mean you're going to stab yourself so it's a very interesting game with wolverine and his son but moving on we actually do see gene gray kind of upset with what wolverine is doing with his son because the gene gray wolverine should try something a little bit nicer when it comes to bonding with his son but of course wolverine just plays it off he's like listen dakin and i are docking we're hanging out we're having fun we are technically bonding right now what is the problem now with that being said for jean gray she's kind of like wondering if she should stay on the x-force team because when it comes to x-force jean gray honestly doesn't fit and what I mean is this right here. Usually in Marvel Comics, X-Force was a strike team and most of the characters fit that role. Mercenaries, fighters, killers, whatever. But when it comes to Jean Grey, she never been one of those roles. And so right now we're seeing her kind of wondering if she should stay on the X-Force team or she should leave and go be part of a different team on Kakoa's Island. But we do kind of find out that Domino and Sage are both at the same bar that Cyclops, Jean Grey, Wolverine, and even Dakin are at. Now, this page right here is very important because you do have Sage ask, does Domino remember what happened to her? Because remember, at the end of our last video, Domino died in the hands of Colossus, but she asked Colossus to make sure that when she's going through the process of bringing Brock back to life, that she does not forget what happened to her in the earlier books of X-Force. Because remember, in the earlier books of X-Force, she was kidnapped. She was held hostage. She was being tortured. They peeled off her skin to make clones of her. They even did other kinds of scientific experiments on her. And so with that being said, she was hoping that when she comes back to life, she never forgot that pain, never forgot those moments. But of course, she tells Sage that she does not remember anything that had happened to her. It's like someone played a mind game with her brain, her new brain, and took out that certain part of her life so that she can be happy again. But of course, to Sage, she's kind of like, that's not cool because that is a part of you now. That part of you should always stay with you so you remember what happened to you. Now, of course, a bar fight does break out. Now, this bar fight only breaks out because of Black Tom. Now, Black Tom has the mutant ability to control wood, but also he is really connected to Kakoa. Now, with that connection, of course, Kakoa can talk. And so you have Kakoa actually appear in the drink that Black Tom is drinking to tell Black Tom that Black Tom is part of the island and the island is part of Black Tom. Because remember, when it comes to Kakoa, the mutants live on it, but it is a living island. Now, with that being said, Black Tom does freak out. He does bump into another mutant, which of course does start a huge bar fight where you do have some members of the X-Force kind of jump in the bar fight and it does get a little bit crazy. But you didn't have Beast come over to Wolverine and say, hey, the violence is needed somewhere else, meaning that, hey guys, we have another mission for X-Force. Now, while you have the X-Force team getting ready to go on their next mission, by the way, it's going to be Kid Omega, Wolverine, and Domino, you do have Wolverine realize that Domino is different and not a good different. And what I mean by is, you have Wolverine realize that Domino 
doesn't remember what happened to her. And so with that, you have Wolverine say, hey, are you okay? Because you went through a lot so far on this team. And I'm hoping that you do remember what happened to you. Now you have Domino say, she feels great because she doesn't remember what happened to her. And that's why she feels so great because she can finally sleep. She can finally relax. And that right there is so important to her. But when it comes to Wolverine, he's kind of like, yeah, you may have forgot what happened to you, but we're never fixed all the way. We're always broken. And something like that will always be a part of us. And so it's Wolverine saying he's kind of worried about Domino remembering about what happened to her down the road, which could technically break her all over again. But either way, while you have the X-Force team getting ready to go through the gate to their next mission, they come to find out the gate is blocked and they have no idea why the gate is blocked off. And this is the moment we come to find out what is X-Force next mission. Because once they're able to kind of break down the barrier that was blocking the gate and come to find out it was just a bunch of dead bodies and plants, we come to find out they're back in Terra Verde. Now, remember, Terra Verde is a small country in South America. Now, the reason why we're bringing this back up is because what Beast did in an earlier book. See, let me explain. So, in Terra Verde, you did have Charles Xavier go over there to kind of make a deal, a treaty with that country. And the president of that country was going to accept the treaty, meaning that Kokoa and Terra Verde were going to be allies. The problem was, though, as soon as Charles Xavier arrived, he was attacked by a plant-like creature. Now, these plant-like creatures had the ability to take over regular human beings' bodies and make them become plant-like creatures. Now, with that being said, one of them was the son of the president. He was taken over by these plant-like creatures. Now, when it came to X-Force, they did discover that there were some scientists kind of playing around with a certain kind of experiment that led to the birth of these plant-like creatures. But then, they were taking over Terra Verde. Now, X-Force went in there, and X-Force did kill off a few members of these plant-like creatures. But their leader was the son of the president now the son was not in control because again these plant-like creatures took over his body but with that being said though his son was the leader of the group now when x-force was able to get rid of the rest of the plant-like creatures leaving the son of the president behind you did have X-Force take the son back over to Beast because Beast promised the president that he'll be able to remove the virus, the plant-like creature virus, out of the body of the son of the president. But Beast did not do that. Instead, Beast let the virus stay in there. And then Beast lied to the president and said, yes, I was able to cure your son. And now his son is apparently destroying Terra Verde. And when X-Force get there, they come to find out the president of Terra Verde is dead. And so now it's kind of like, what happened here in this country? And we know what happened. It's the son of the president. The plant-like creature virus made him even more powerful than he was in our last story. And while you have X-Force going deeper and deeper into Terra Verde, they do discover that the plant-like creature virus is now affecting animals. But while they're getting deeper and deeper into the jungle, you do have X-Force realize that Beast is hiding something. They can't tell what, but they know that he is hiding something from them. But of course, right now, their goal is to just complete their mission. But this is where things begin to get worse for X-Force because we do jump back over to Kakoa, where you have Beast right now going to meet up with Black Tom. Now, the reason why, because Beast says Black Tom has been complaining about how he needs a break from the island and the island needs a break from Black Tom. And so this is Beast saying, listen, with the island being part of you and you being part of the island, I am going to give you guys 
both a break by sending Black Tom somewhere else. Now, while Beast is doing that, you have X-Force calling into Beast, asking for help, begging for help. And the reason why? Because they're being attacked by a new kind of creature that's in Terra Verde. Those plant-like creatures, they have evolved. They have gotten stronger. And right now, they are able to take out X-Force left and right. And so it's kind of like, what in the world can X-Force do now if you have Kid Omega screaming for help, calling out for beasts over the comms to say, we need backup. Terra Verde is not a hostile country. It's an angry god. Now, we do jump over to X-Force number 10. Now, with this book right here, we actually jump back 10 minutes ago to learn what happened to the X-Force team that went out into Terra Verde to investigate to see what in the world is going on. And so, we saw them last time going into a temple to hopefully learn more about what's going on in Terra Verde. But when they got inside, of course, they were attacked here and there. But those attacks, they were able to handle those attacks. But then Wolverine sees a wall. And you have Wolverine ask Domino and Kid Omega to read what the wall is saying. But then you have Domino say, it seems like the plants have been growing for centuries. But in reality, can that be true? Because we were told scientists were the ones who had made these vines. Now, with that being said, of course, that is the moment you have each member of the X-Force team get grabbed by the vines and pulled to different parts of the temple. Now, let's not forget that Beast did tell Black Tom that it's time for him to get a break. And so being back in the present moment, we see Black Tom about to head over to where Terra Verde is to help the X-Force team out to deal with those plant-like creatures and to hopefully save the day. Now, with us luckily being in the present moment now, you do have Domino show us that she is okay and alive as well. And so with that, you do have her kind of running around the temple, trying to make sure that she is not grabbed by any more vines or any more kind of creatures at all. But now her goal is to find the other members of the X-Force team. Now, the first person she finds is, of course, Wolverine. Now here comes the messed up part though. When she does find Wolverine, it does seem like right now they're about to do some kind of ritual on Wolverine. Wolverine is about to be used as a sacrifice for some crazy ritual. And so you do have Domino try to step in, but of course now there's more creatures getting ready to attack her as well. And so right now it seems like Wolverine and Domino might both die thanks to the creatures in Terra Verde. So then we jump back over to Beast. And the reason why, because he is freaking out because he is unable to get a hold of any member of the X-Force team, except things are about to get even worse for him because that is the moment you have Jean Grey walk in and she is very angry. And the reason why, because she knows what Beast has done when it comes to Terra Verde. That in our earlier coverage, Beast had the option to give the son of the president of Terra Verde the cure to the plant-like virus, but he didn't. The reason why, because Beast also learned that the son of the president was also trying to show the world an alternate version of technology to Kakoa's technology, which humans would more likely go to Terra Verde instead of Kakoa. And so Beast used the plant-like virus as a way to make the sun go into a vegetable state of mind. But the virus was still in there and evolved and it took over the sun's body completely and then took over the country completely. It is all thanks to Beast because he felt like if he did not do anything that Terra Verde could cause problems for Kakoa. Now you do have Jean Grey 
uh, Black Tom and Sage actually arrive in the field. And this is Jean Grey saying that they are going to combine their powers as a way to save Wolverine, Domino, and Kid Omega. What Jean Grey means is this right here. With Black Tom having abilities to control wood, he automatically connected to the plant-like creatures as soon as they arrived. Now, when it comes to Sage, she basically is a computer. Like her mind is a computer thanks to her mutant ability. And with Jean Grey being a psychic, well, she was able to combine all three powers together to be some kind of psychic computer hardwood virus. I said hardwood because, you know, wood. But either way, with them combining their powers all together, they were able to get rid of all the plant-like creatures in Terra Verde. And so, the day is saved. But now the big question is though, what do you do about beasts? And right now, Jean Grey, it seems like she could be leaving X-Force behind. Now, to go ahead and wrap up this video, we actually do pick up with Jean Grey and Wolverine right now chilling in the hot tub, getting ready to have a good time. Now, before they do, you do have Jean Grey want to talk to Wolverine. Now, I also want to mention, for fans who are jumping right in the middle of this series, I do want to mention one thing. In the new era of Dawn of X for Jonathan Hickman, he made sure to clarify that Jean Grey is banging both Cyclops and Wolverine since both men love her. And so with that being said, with her being a hot tub right now with Wolverine, it's pretty normal at this point in Dawn of X. But either way, it's Jean Grey saying that she's very upset with how X-Force is because X-Force is so dirty, it's so bloody, and that is something she's not used to. But she feels like with them being on Kakoa, that the mutant race should be evolving, be better than humans. But she feels like they're not being better than humans because of what Beast has done and what X-Force do. But she also says she feels like that she is too good for X-Force. And so it seems like Jean Grey is basically going to leave the X-Force team. But with that being said, this is where we are going to in today's comic book video. So please leave me a like down below and subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions on books I should read, well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know. Your suggestion could be a future video down the road. Later guys, see y'all next time.